Welcome to week two of the DSC Sport Tuning Academy. This week we'll be taking a look at some of the basic functions of the DSC Sport Tuning software. I'll be teaching you how to read the PDDS file that's currently in your DSC Sport controller, how to write a new file to the DSC Sport controller, and how to check your firmware version. Regardless of what you're doing, it's always good to start out by reading your PDTS file to make sure you have communication with the controller. To do that, you just want to go to Tools, Read All as I just did, and hit Begin. Now you're just going to wait for this progress bar to finish up here. Um, once you do that, once it has finished up, then you have read the PDTS file that's currently in your controller, and you know that you have communication with the DSC Sport Tuning software. All right, so once this is finished reading, we're gonna go ahead and close out of this window, and I'm going to show you how to write a new PDTS file. First, if you think you might wanna save the current file, go ahead and go to File, Save to do so. I'm not going to save, so I just canceled out of that window. Now we're going to go to the website. We can go under Downloads, go to Calibration Files. And here you could choose the PDTS file that's right for your vehicle. Uh, some vehicles have multiple PDTS files to choose from. Uh, we're going to go ahead and download the 997 main PDTS file. That is going to be a zipped folder, so you're just going to want to go ahead and unzip that and grab the PDTS file out of that. And you're going to want to put it in a place on your computer where you can find it. Uh, I just have a handy software folder for the DSC Sport Tuning software where I keep all my PDTS files, all my firmware files, and the DSC Sport Tuning software itself. So once you've opened the PDTS file that you want to write to the DSC Sport controller, uh, you can now see that it's loaded into the tuning software. You simply just want to navigate to Tools, and we're going to perform a Write All function. And as you can see, this is just like the read all function we performed earlier. Go ahead and hit begin. And once the status bar finishes up, then we have now written the new PDTS file to your DSC Sport controller. All right, and once this finishes up here, we're gonna go ahead and close out, and then I'm gonna show you how to reset the board. Uh, and this is just to ensure that the DSC Sport Controller has processed the new PDTS file that we have written to it. Go to Tools, Reset Board, hit OK. So now the processor has been reset, and I'm just going to now show you how to check your firmware version. So we're gonna go up to Tools, Go to test serial port, hit start, and in the write out box here, just enter the letter V as in version, hit send, and here you will uh, see your firmware version that is currently in your DSC Sport controller. Uh, if you ever want to make sure you have the most up to date firmware version, you can go ahead and check the firmware section of our website or just contact tech support and we will let you know what the latest firmware version for your vehicle is. Thanks for tuning in today and stay tuned next week for the next episode of the DSC Sport Tuning Academy.